Hi everyone, this is Space Toad. Welcome to this Buildcraft preview. Um, this is a preview today, this is not a tutorial, so what I'm going to show isn't available yet. Um, this is going to be made available as part of the 2.0.0 release, which is going to be available probably in the next couple of weeks, hopefully um, in the next couple of days. Uh, so I just wanted to uh, show you guys what's cooking, what's being implemented, what's ready already and what you should be waiting for. Uh, let's get started. So the main the main thing that is going to be uh, added to this 2.0.0 release of Buildcraft is engines. It used to be the case that machine would work out of um, alternate redstone power. Uh, it's not the case anymore. Uh, now all buildcraft machines such as pipes, quarries, mining wells, builders, etc., etc., will require um, engines to operate. This first engine here is the simplest one. It's the um, wooden engine or, or redstone engine. I haven't settled on the name yet. And this is just requiring a redstone torch to operate. So if I place one here, as you can see, this engine is activating and it's operating the, um, the the pipe over here. Now it's 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 very slow, uh, which is why it's okay here to have nothing to uh, power it but the the redstone torch. Um, so if I want something that goes a little bit faster, I'm going to require something um, more powerful. And this is going to be here the. Um, stone engine or um, steam engine. So the issue with this one is that it cannot operate just out of redstone. It requires fuel or something to smelt. If you open it, you can see that there is a, a smelting location here and I can place coal and as you can see it's operating a lot faster than the previous one. That's one thing. And the other thing is like it's, it's going to be able to extract uh, stacks straight out, so no object one by one, but a full stack or a partial stack out of the out of the chest straight out, because it's a lot more powerful than the previous one. Um, before we move on to the next one, um, there's a new item that has been introduced here, which is the the wrench, and the wrench is going to be the only item able to change the orientation of Billcraft devices, um, such as pipes. Um, it used to be the case that if I was right clicking here that would change the input of this wooden pipe. Um, it doesn't work anymore. Now only the wrench is able to change that. Um, which hopefully will simplify things. It used to be the case that uh, it was difficult to work around this kind of pipe because every time you would place a block next to it it will it would change uh, the input. Now it's not the case anymore thanks to this, this new item. Let's, back, let's get back to um, the um, engines. So the third kind of engine is called the iron engine or combustion engine and it is going to be based on a new kind of resource that um, is going to be generated on the world with this new version of Billcraft. And this new resource is oil. So oil is something that is going to be rather rare on the world, but here I got lucky, I found a, a large deposit. So I'm just going to um, grab some oil here in my bucket. And now that I've got oil, I'm going to place the an engine somewhere and take advantage of it, like here for example, removing that guy and placing an oil engine here. If I open it, I can fuel the engine by placing an oil bucket here. You can see uh, I've got one level of oil here and the engine is uh, working now on this obsidian pipe. Now the interest of having powerful engines to obsidian pipe is that they are going to be able to vacuum a lot further than uh, initially. Uh, it used to be the case that obsidian pipe they could vacuum only one block ahead. Now even if I send block here, which is a lot further, uh, the obsidian pipe is going to be able to um, get them thanks to the power of this iron engine over here. Um, 
can see a few examples of these things. Here, for example, I've got um, a mechanism with um, two furnace, and each of them has this um, input and output pipe that are operated through the um, wooden engines. So if I click on that, I activate the mechanism. Uh, as you can see, the uh, top uh, wooden pipe is operated, extracts the material from the chest, and when the cooking is done, then it's extracting by this um, second pipe over here. So that's one uh, possibility. The other example that I wanted to show is the quarry. So there was two complaints on the quarry, mainly on the forum. One is the quarry is too slow, the other one is the quarry is kind of an infinite um, source of material and it's not really, gameplay wise, it's, it's, it's not great, especially if you're working on a multiplayer server. Well, in an attempt to fix both of these um, complaints, now the quarry requires engine to operate and here for example I've placed um, iron engines, I've got another one um, here that uh, uses a um, stone engine, but basically uh, they do require a little bit of material to, to operate. If I click on there, you can see that there is um, some oil that has been put on this, um, all of these engines. Now, it is going to be possible to place more than one engine next to a quarry. Here, for example, I've got five of them. And this is going to accelerate the process a lot. Uh, if we look at the quarry, which is working over there, as you can see, it is a lot faster than uh, what it used to be. So, um, yeah, it's going to be now reasonable to extract things from large areas because the quarry is going to extract things um, faster than on the previous release. Um, so that's it for now. That's the feature that are currently in the process of being implemented in, in Buildcraft. It's close to completion. Problem is that uh, SMP requires always a little bit more work, so hopefully that will be ready within the next couple of days, maybe next couple of um, weeks. Uh, but anyway, thanks a lot for having watched the video. I hope to talk to you soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.